Yo, what is yo, what is going on YouTube? This is Delta back with another Call of Duty Mobile video where today I have so many leaks. Like it's actually crazy, but I have gameplay of most of them because I did get my hands on the test server. Only the first 20,000 people could sign up and I immediately clicked the download link. And here we have these leaks. I'm about to break them down for you. First, we're going to move over onto the legendary map Rust. And I'm going to admit I'm pretty young and I never had a console back in the day. So I never played uh, Modern Warfare 2 and I couldn't try out Rust. But I have to say that map is legendary for a reason. So we have some gameplay of that. We also have some kill confirmed gameplay. It is the new mode in Call of Duty Mobile as well as Capture the Flag, another new game mode in Call of Duty Mobile. We also have a new operator skill which I will be showing you and the gameplay of it, but man, this is crazy. We also have a 1v1 mode on a new map called Saloon, which is the second map that is new to the game other than Rust. However, I wasn't able to find it in the test version. I'm very sorry for that. It's really late at night and I really wanted to get this <laughs> video out to you. So if you do enjoy it, please hit it with a like, smash subscribe, share the video with your friends because you know it was cool. And please leave a comment, let me know what you uh, want to see next. But seriously though, smash subscribe, smash like. Uh, join my Discord link on the screen and in the description below. And let's get right into the video. Alright guys, so first up on our video of leaks is going to be the legendary map Rust from Modern Warfare 2. Uh, again, I have never played this map, but obviously I got the test build. Only first 20,000 people could get it, so we hopped into a gun game because it was random. And if you didn't know, this is actually an oil rig placed in some country. I forgot Ferg said it on his uh, video, but... As you can see, it's a pretty small map, and I heard that a lot of people like to do 1v1s here. It's like, if we had a problem, we would go here. <laughs> but as you see, I'm just trying to take off these enemies so I can explore the rest of the map. And right here, you're going to see I'm going to go up this giant pipeline. So there's actually two ways you can go up this pipeline. You can go left, and you can also go straight. So I'm kind of deciding where to go. But if you go this way, apparently, yeah, you can go up to this crane, I believe, and just kind of hit some shots, although it isn't very protective, it's not like a full wall. And right here, you can hit a lot of sneaky snipes, but we are going to be traveling back across the pipeline, and I see an enemy there, I'm going to ignore him, because the purpose of this video is to showcase the map rust. So once you get to the main oil extractor, you can get to this floor right here, and again, hit some more shots as I did there. I did not die there, I just had to cut the video, but... So you can go up this rail, and... If you can make the jump, you have to double jump because you jump and then vault and you can get to the top of Rust. And over here, you can hit some crazy shots. I mean, if you're not using ADS uh, to scope on your sniper, you could hit a three or a 720 no scope. You never know. But as you see, I'm just trying to take off these guys right here. This is another platform you can jump onto. And here we're jumping back onto the main oil rig. So there's also, if you are not very good at parkour, you can also take this ladder right here and that will take you all the way to the very top. So you're going to see that right now. And again, we're back at the very top. It's very good for sniping. You can hit a lot of shots as you see with my LK and I missed my type 25 shots here, but please ignore that. All right. So yeah, this guy's going on the rail, but he's going to get destroyed pretty quickly. But yeah, we're going to go down the pipeline because I want to hit some more shots. And here's where I believe I end the video for Rust. So that's pretty much the map Rust. I'm so excited to see it in COD Mobile. Again, there's basically four corners and you can... It, sniper 1v1s on this are going to be so crazy. As you saw, I had the sniper in gun game. But our next leak, I believe, is going to be... I'm not sure what it is. I think it's... Let me see. So yeah, this guy's just going to take out the knife. It was gun game, so that was actually gun game team mode. Let me explain that really quickly. Gun game team mode, after you can watch some kill confirmed gameplay, but gun game team mode is basically you are on a team and you get points for every kill you get. However, if you get your knife kill, it ends the game immediately for the team and 60 points wins the game. So yeah, that's pretty much, pretty simple, 5v5. But here is kill confirmed. Let's get on to that. You get kills you get 100 points for every kill you get, and for picking up your kill, the, so basically, oh yeah, right here, sorry I'm getting sidetracked, but that was a cryo grenade. It's the new 
tactical grenade that when you throw will actually freeze or slow down enemies around you and it is so useful i think it's going to be in the meta for grenades and you're going to see i'm going to use it right here but yeah basically kill confirmed you get 100 points per kill and 100 points for picking up the dog tag of the person you killed if you pick up a, a, if a teammate kills an opponent and you pick up a dog tag then it will give you 75 points so now we are on capture the flag it's more like capture the gold but if you've ever played capture the flag you'll know that there's two teams and each team has a home base in this one the home base has the flag or the gold the enemy team has to or you have to try cap go all the way to the enemy home base pick, pick up their gold by just walking up to the gold storage then you have to run back and deposit that gold at your home base and let's say while you are running carrying the enemy's gold and you're gonna see it right here as it says return all if 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 an enemy is carrying your gold and they die you're gonna see it right here as well so i killed an enemy who was carrying our gold all i have to do is tap the gold to put it back at home base and you're gonna see a new operator skill here actually i'm sorry this video is kind of crazy but this is probably a nuts operator skill all you have to do is scope in and it locks onto your opponent and you're gonna see me use it right here but i'm gonna die so as you see boom Locks on, locks on. It's such a good operator skill. This guy dropped my gold and I went to go pick it back up, but I ended up dying. So that is the new operator skill called the Annihilator. Again, you want to try escort your teammates as they are carrying the gold uh, back to your base because you have to go to the enemy's base, pick up the gold, bring it back to your base. And again, if you want to return your gold to your home base, all you have to do is tap it and it will teleport back to your home base. So that is pretty cool. Again, if an enemy drops your gold uh, or if your teammate drops the enemy's gold, you can pick it up and start charging back to your home base. So this is actually the main screen for... Uh, the new test build. I'm not sure if any of this is confirmed. Unfortunately, guys, I wasn't able to find 1v1 gameplay. It was interesting. If you're wondering why I have the HBR, it's not because I have money. I'm pretty poor. But this test build gave us a bunch of stuff. All the guns in the game. Not all the skins, but got a lot of stuff. So this is the new Annihilator skill. As you saw in the bottom left, or sorry, sorry the bottom right, you saw the Cryo Grenade. There is a BR update for the map for BR. I didn't play BR because that would just make the video so long and i didn't want to get there but we have a few more uh seconds uh remaining for the video as you see these are the events you saw capture the flag you saw kill confirmed you saw rust and snipers only so yeah pretty crazy stuff guys and i'm just trying to like check out also if you yeah i'm just checking out the score streaks here but there's gonna be something interesting coming up and if you click on the bottom left that little that little checkboard you have these three events and this is the Gold Rush Exchange event, basic, basic. You got the Season event, and you can actually uh, look at all these, and they'll give you Battle Pass XP and credits for doing all of that stuff. And then you have the Survey. This is all test build stuff. Guys, none of this is confirmed in the game, so please uh, do not base everything off of this. But as you saw, all the game modes, all the maps, they're all going to be in this uh, in the update, which I don't know when it's going to come out, but it's going to be coming out soon. So guys, if you did enjoy the video, please do leave a like. This video was very hard to make. You don't even know. I was staying up so long to make this video. Please smash like. Like for a cookie. Subscribe. Smash subscribe. Also, make sure to comment if you want to see some more test build gameplay. I was one of the 20,000 people who got this, and I have to do the survey and the bug report. But yeah, also share the video with your friends because you know this video is cool. But that is it for today, and this is Delta signing off. I hope you enjoyed the video. Also, I feel like I didn't do justice enough to Rust because most of the time I was like focusing on killing people, and someone got their knife kill really early, but I really wanted to do more Rust gameplay, so I might do a video dedicated to Rust, so please let me know if you'd like to see that by hitting a like and commenting. But that is it for today's video. This is Delta signing off, and I will see you all in the next one.